Morning, Henrik. Good to see you again. Good to see you again as well. Brian, thank you very much for our hats last time. We're here for some advice and we're here for a service. Well, all because right. you have to look after your hat, don't you? But you do, for sure. The legend is that if you set your hat that way, the luck will run out. If you leave it like this, your luck won't run out. This color hat is great for not showing the dust. I mean, it is the color of dirt, so this thing would be really dusty and you wouldn't even be able to tell. You're using steam. Is it because steam is doing the job? Well, steam is quicker for me just to warm the hat up and I can manipulate the felt. And that's why I'm spinning it. I don't want to get it too hot in one place. We just want to warm the whole thing up. So just to get it started, I like to put it in there. Right. Real quick to doctor these up and get them back to where they were. Once you buy a hat from Smithbolt, you can come in any time to get your hat looked after. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I mean, there, there are charges if you dump a bottle of wine on it or something and I got to clean it up because it's all done by hand. Smithbolt's not just about cowboy hats. No, we're doing lots of new stuff. We're getting more and more into the ladies' hats now. and. You know, I need a little help with that because I don't know a whole bunch about ladies fashion. So I know how to make the hats. I don't know how to decorate them necessarily. Paige, why hats? I like the Old West. I wish I was around in 1912 to ride in the first stampede. Smith built such a trademark in Calgary that it actually worked really well to collaborate with them on this line. I like the idea of Old West and Old London and it seems to be a theme. Well, the line that I'm creating is called Page 1912 and it combines kind of the Old West and Old London couture together in a modern look. And this is like a playground because you get, <laughs> you get to do whatever you want in here. A really neat dynamic and working with Brian's been great and he sees where I'm going and he's good to work with. Who's the kind of customer that's gonna go after them? I think most of these hats are versatile. They're there's a few that are more Western, but something like this can be worn downtown Calgary when you're out in a boat. I gave each of the hats a name, and this one I call Sally. They call this style a bowler hat. It's a really kind of old transition hat that lots of urban people did wear. It's a nice moss green, and then Brian did this kind of back comb thing. We call it the baby grizz, so it's not sleeked off. In all of them, we're putting this horseshoe nail with 1912 stamped in it, and then this one also has the dollar bill, just to kind of add some character to the hat. Love it. Did people actually do that in the past? Cowboys put stuff in their hats. That's not always money, by the way. <laughs> no, it's not often money. How can people get this? We're taking this line to Vegas during the NFR, and they'll also be on my website, which is page1912.com, and then come into the shop. They're here. How can we get a Smithfield hat other than getting on a plane all the way to Alberta? Well, we can ship them anywhere in the world, and we do sell quite a few hats online. Best plan is still to come and pay you a visit. Yeah, it? I'd like to have the person's head here when I shape the hat. Speed, I yeah. try that on. Here See we go. How we did there. This is the way I like it. What do you think? <laughs> Looks yeah? good. Good. Like to wear it a little bit lower. Good for another million miles. Another million miles. We're all about supporting communities, businesses, inspiring people. We really appreciate your support. Come and join our movement. Give us a thumbs up. We would love to bring you more of these. <laughs>